What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, b High Radio. Shout in, as always, I got my podcast partner off in this thing. OG Gangsta Wicked, a.k.a. Big Galaxy of Ghetto Mafia. Yeah, I'm just going, I ain't even going to have to speak. I just let, let you read that right see now. See that? Nah, I see exactly what you said. Shout out my boy, <laughs> Mind Frame. That's his ad lib right there. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I'm going to steal that ad lib. See, that, that that ain't, you always stealing something. <laughs> That's what your problem is. I get a little bit from everybody, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm making my own. Now, I ain't mad at that. Now, <laughs> I mean, I got to ask you this, though. It, you know, recently, there's been another uh, accusation mm. filed against Diddy from a new lady who was a model back in the day saying that basically he did the same thing to her right. that was going on with Cassie. Mm. Uh, this is coming off the heels of the Cassie altercation being released online and Diddy, you know, apologizing for what everybody saw as him being totally inappropriate with a female beating her uh, in public. Mm. I mean, just doing the wrong thing. Mm. You know, hand in the cookie jar, cutting up. <laughs> so now, you have this new accusation or allegation on him right now, and we're trying to figure out exactly where do we go from here with Diddy? I mean, is Diddy counseled? I think so. I think I think Diddy gonna be counseled. One thing I would tell, I would say to Diddy, if I was in his corner, his attorney, or uh, it's cuz and anything. Don't get on there and do another damn interview crying to the world about, about you know, you're trying to repent and stuff. You, you shut up and go to the island or whatever. Um, with what this new model is saying, it's hard for us not to believe anything she is going to say uh, or anything has said. I haven't seen a transcript yeah. of what exactly it is she has said, yeah. but it's going to be hard not to believe anything when Diddy flat out uh, denied the first allegations and said it was a money grab. Yeah. And then t then come uh, two weeks later, we sit here with tears in his eyes yeah. saying that, you know, she was right. See that? So, um, I you know, I think that this new one right here is gonna be hard for us, you know, as you know, as as black folks to believe that it. it is like the lion cousin, you know, the, the klepto at the in the family. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know, we got. We were like, that's just George. You hide your shit when he comes. You see there, <laughs> see there, see there. So I mean, right now, uh, Beehive, it's uh, you know, Peloton just uh canceled him. Oh man, yeah, I saw that. Um. Of course, you know the liquor and all them. You know they they they've been canceling. So I mean, I would say, uh, yeah, he has been canceled, and I think it's going to continue to to continue to come. I don't know how many partnerships that he has out there. I'm sure it's a lot because yeah. you know who is bigger than Diddy in the music entertainment business. So it's a probably a lot of partnerships that he had that we didn't even know about because I didn't know about Peloton. Yeah, but I just saw it. Yeah. So. Um, He's in trouble, man, with uh, with society, and he, and he and he be, and he, and also a lot of this. When once it starts, once this starts, we know where it's going. Yeah, it normally goes to criminal. Mm. I told you once you open up that Pandora's box. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Once you open it up, go down that rabbit hole. Anything can come from it. Behind that's why I and I'm gonna put That's why. I don't even like to go to jail on nothing small. You know, like I got friends of mine, right? Yeah. They like, man, police pulled me off. I cussed this motherfucking ass out. Cause I had tag, I had license, I had everything. He just pulled me off for no reason. Yeah. So I cussed him out, and that's what they took me to jail for. That's I was in jail last night. I said, well, I don't really like to go to jail at all because once you go down the rabbit hole of going in jail, yeah. once something else could pop up on me, Ooh. you know, because they have to fingerprint you in exactly. and out. Yeah. It be that out. Yeah. And I be sitting like, damn, did I do something? <laughs> did I have a bar fight right there? You know, yeah. once they let you, Are they in the warrants? Uh, uh, yeah, they in the warrants out yeah. on me. Oh, uh, will I go in there thinking that I'm, a, I'm going in there to detox or sober up from drinking yeah. dry and then I get stabbed in there? Run yeah. across one of my ops in there. Come on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, some bullshit story get out on me, man. Went, went in jail, man. They got yeah. his ass whooped. See that? Man, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even want to put myself in a position. Yeah. To, 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 and Puff, you it right now. He's a, he's all the way down the rabbit hole, and this is what happens once you go down that rabbit hole. 
anything can, anything is popping. So I don't think that uh, this is the last person behind. Mm. I think that, man, we may look up and we have one of those, you know, the Harvey Weinstein well, type Cosby of deal, the Bill Cosby type deal. Bill, Bill was let out of jail, so I don't like, I don't like to say Bill's name anymore. Yeah. I always felt a little something about Bill shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But um, you know, Art Kelly, yeah, the, the, the come to the, the mind. You know what I'm yeah. saying. We have this going on. When, when it first started with Art Kelly, it was just. It was, you know, one or two of them saying something. One or two of the parents. Yeah. Oh, my daughter didn't come home. My daughter's right there. Yeah. R. Kelly cussed one of them out, man. And now you open that Pandora's yeah. box and you get people, at, you know, praying against you. And and um, and this is what happens, man. So I think we don't read this book before. We don't seen this movie. Okay. Uh, 50 Cent is doing a documentary on the situation as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, to the point to where they were having a bidding war over the documentary. You know, that's what they were saying on Instagram. So they're saying that uh, 50 is about to take a Diddy documentary to Netflix to tell the story as well. And my question is, outside of what we already know, what might come out in this documentary that might add more fuel to the fire against Diddy to really end it all for him? Ah. Uh... I don't know, but one thing I can say that he has a, that Diddy has a very, very, very big problem besides um, the new allegation with the model. Yeah. And it's called 50 Cent. Yeah. You know, that's another big, big problem because now you have somebody that can fight back yeah. with power and money also on you. Some of the, I guess some of the victims, some of the females couldn't fight back. They might then, you know, they might have been indigent, might didn't have enough money. You yeah. got them tied up and did your tentacles long. You can hate on them not to get in the movies, make the band or whatever, but you can't do that with 50. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So 50 gets two fucks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he has enough money to play with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's a real big problem too. Uh, you know, it feels like uh, 50 is, is, if not already, has his foot on his neck he's going to put it all the way on his neck. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't see how you bounce back from from that right there when both of y'all from, you know, pretty much the same place. He is just as big as you, if not bigger right now. 50, I could argue 50 is more relevant than probably. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So when you got this type of enemy, this type of opt yeah. that's going out, up and beyond the call of duty to make sure that everybody know your shit stink, mm. you know what I'm saying? You have a real problem on your hand. And, um... And I don't know how Puff, like I said, I don't know how, I have seen people bounce back, you know, you know, I want that, I will say, I will hold out. We saw what we saw on camera, so, and, and but, but, they, but they're not pressing charges on that particular incident on camera, Cassie. But, you know, with Bill Cosby, and even R. Kelly, and even R. Kelly, Puff seems worse because of the damn video. Mm. It seems like so, you know, with Art Kelly being bam like that, then they bam Bill, and there was really no video. Bill's stuff was from the sixties. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he still wind up getting convicted or something. Yeah. Puff, we this is fresh in our head. We just saw it the other day, man. The man uh kicked the kick a face off. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't see him, I don't see how he'll be able to come back. You know, one thing, like I said, I would tell Diddy, man, don't do no more press conferences, bruh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is gonna believe a damn thing that you say. Yeah. Uh, even if you can't change people's minds, even if you di even if you are going to therapy and you gon' you gonna do better, then just do fucking better. You know, like I said, you know, just do it. And what if he just felt like, okay, you got me, it's over, I apologize, and he was like, you know what, I'ma just apologize and fade to black. I'ma just. Take it on the chin. I did wrong. I'm sorry. And I'm just going to walk off into the sunset. And y'all ain't got to hear from the Diddy no more. I mean, that's a way, you know, if you were his mentor, like if me and you would be, <laughs> if me and you were on Diddy's uh, shoulder, yeah. and you was the good news in the white, and I was in the red with the horns, you would have told him that right there, you know, hey, that was a good thing to do. On the other hand, I, I subscribe to the Michael Vick theory. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't did shit. Did you see me there? It was my cousin and 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 Come my auntie them did. I ain't did a goddamn <laughs> I ain't admitting that until after I don't did my time. Yeah, like, yeah. But uh, he he uh, it, you know it's 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 fucked up, yeah. It's it's fucked up. It's still he still is a, he still is a 
He's an icon of the industry. He has done a, um, a lot of great music that we live off of. I hear some of Puff songs anytime I turn over some of the old stations. Um, he was an advocate for one of my my biggest, uh, one of my most favorite rappers, uh, Biggie Small. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So uh, it's just, I mean, even though it was bad, and I'm gonna throw something out there at you. Mm -hmm. Watch this. You take away Tupac died. Yeah. Biggie died. Yeah. Shug in prison. Yeah. And now fa Puff uh, face in prison. Oh Did my God. Did all of the karma mm. come back? That almost just, this when, when this plays out with Diddy, do you realize this could almost have wiped out an era? Well, see, well, I'm going with it. I'm going to take it just a couple steps further. You name those names, but then I say in hip hop right now, we don't even have the mogul anymore. Right. We only got right. QCP and uh, Yo Gotti, and um, you know, it's not as many. I know at least in the South that I can just call out the top of my head. Back then, you had about 10 different black hip hop moguls that you could say, this guy's responsible for this, 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 and that. Mm -hmm. And now, literally, all of those chess pieces have been moved off the off board. Off the board. Correct. 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 Yeah, you talk, we're talking about the era. You're talking about back with P and Baby and Dre. Yeah, exactly. And all, and all but the, the biggest era from the biggest, in my lifetime, the biggest movement in rap to yeah. me was that 90 to 96. Yeah. Tupac. Yeah. Big. Yeah. Death Row. Uh, bad boy, yeah. and and I ain't just talking about just Pac and B. You had roster all time great rosters. Yeah. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? And we're looking at now that we're gonna look up. We, we'll look up two have passed, and two could possibly be sitting in prison the rest of their life. Mm. That's great. Did, 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 did you ever thought about that? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and that's almost a, that's almost an era. Now, like I said, you know, we still have other. You had other moguls back then, but. Uh, I don't. I don't think that anything was as big as Death Row and Bad Boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And and we're looking at a possibility of that being cleared off the board because what are we gonna play? It? Okay, let's say hypothetically that you know this comes out. This this this, this new model comes out, and now this this turns criminal. Mm. Okay, uh, now you got a lot of the women come out. Puffy is bam. Do we what do we do with all the music that came from that Puffy mm. is benefiting from from Bad Boy? What yeah. do we do with that music? Do we hurt the other the artists that are funny? And I I heard that he gave back some of the publishing yeah. to some of them. Yeah, he did. But they but they saying it was it was some bullshit. It was some a small percentage of some blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah. not the masters. Mm. Yeah, back up. He just Puffy had took the the two hundred percent the master side. And the mechanical roar decide. They just got back a piece of the mechanical roar, not the ownership of the song. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The people don't be knowing that part. Yeah. And uh my thing was, what do we do with all those records if if Puffy is banned? If this turns out to be this, this turns out to be a criminal case, what do we do with all that music? If you saw what they did with Bill Cosby with the Cosby show, they snatched all of it out. It, it hurt Felicia Rashad them. I, yeah. I brought it up to you. They they said that was the that was the most disappointing thing. What do we have to do with okay, Bill had this going on, yeah. but you snatched us off the air. We ate off of that. My exactly. family that ate syndication off of that. had us retired. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, what do we do with that music and stuff? So, uh, big guy, on one hand, mm -hmm. I would say, I would ask you a question, I would think that he's done, but on the other hand, we do have examples of Will Smith's, of Michael Vick's, of people that have went down that rabbit hole and bounced back. Yeah. So, I right now, I'm like you. Wait and see. But one problem, that a major problem that he has, besides all the females that are starting to ante up on him, Yeah. It's the it's the it's the broadcaster yeah. that's broadcasting play by that's doing play by play for his whole life. Yeah, which is Fifty Cent. My God, y'all hit the comments. Let us know how y'all feel. Is Diddy officially canceled now? I think so. Yeah. Can he come back from this? Mm. Uh, just hit the comments. Let us know, man. Let's get in this community and uh, let us know how you feeling out here in these streets, man. Yeah. Be high, ready, yo, shout it, big galaxy. Yes, sir. We'll holler at y'all in a minute, man. Sure, sure. We're gone. Shit, yeah. <laughs>